Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lydia's Plate. Today's video is going to be a big clean with me and day in the life. Uh, not every day is the same, almost every day is not the same here. There's always something else to be doing, but it does seem to kind of rotate through a certain number of days all the time. And there are definitely constants like dishes always have to happen and so on, things like that. Food has to be made. So some things are constant every day and some things are not. But anyways, let's see how today goes. So I'm going to start off in the kitchen here with just tidying up, emptying the garbage bag because it was full, and of course, those dishes. Now this is something I don't do very often, but it was time for the toaster to get cleaned again. There were pieces of bread that had fallen off in the meantime and were kind of getting jammed in the bottom of the toaster, so that needed to get cleaned out and I just don't like that smell of that bread burning all the time. So it needed to happen. Another thing I need to do today that I don't nearly do every day is make some bread. So today specifically I want to make cinnamon raisin bread because that has become a favorite for breakfast and because it is so much of a favorite I want to try to get two loaves made today. I believe each load takes between two and three hours, it might even be more like between two and four hours. So I really need to get on this because they also need time to cool. You'll see at the end, I end up doing a comparison to show you what it's like to cut fresh bread compared to bread that's been in the freezer. So there's definitely a difference and if you want to see what happens, stay tuned. that is not a typical day in the life thing and yet to some degree it kind of is probably at least once a month we do breakfast and sometimes it's breakfast for lunch sometimes it's breakfast for breakfast and usually Mark does almost if not all of it 
So this particular time, most of the time we have bacon, but this time we had picked up those little breakfast sausages and we are really enjoying doing the bacon or the breakfast sausages on this little indoor grill. So it is a bit of a process to get the thing all clean, but it works really well and it really gives us more room on the oven for other things, like especially if we're doing pancakes and eggs, then we can do the meat on this thing and that way the oven isn't getting so full of pans. I believe this one particularly is of the Starfrit brand, so I'll see if we can put a link in the description box for you. Now, oddly enough, and this was not planned at all, but this seems to be not a typical day in the life. For whatever reason, today I decided that it was the day to also clean my spice rack. But on the other hand, this is typical because often I'll choose one extra thing to do that just helps me kind of go through the entire cycle of getting everything in the house clean at least well, depending on what it is, but at least once a year, but the spice rack hopefully is going to get it more often than that. You may see me rubbing my nose on my shoulder quite a bit. It was so itchy. No, I'm not rubbing schnot all over my shoulder, but my nose was just itchy. And when my hands are busy working and wet, I don't have time to stop and itch my nose. So I am just itching my nose on my shoulder. Now this bear, like the spice rack, is another thing that doesn't nearly get cleaned every week and I probably haven't cleaned it, oh boy, in a few months. So it was just time for him to get cleaned again too, along with the salt and pepper that he holds. So something about me that I've never mentioned before is that I really like horses and so uh, one of my daughters when she was at a clay working or clay painting studio she decided to paint a horse figurine for me so that's why you're seeing the horse figurine that has been added to everything else on the windowsill. So 
that cord that I just pulled up there, I am leaving that up on top of the counters where nobody's going to see it because that's the cord that I used for when I had my Christmas lights and garland strung along the top of the cupboards. So I don't want to pull it down and end up using it somewhere else and then having to buy a new one for Christmas or not being able to find it. So I'm just pulling it back up there so I don't have it hanging down onto the counter all the time. So as I'm going to wash the floor here, I'll just touch on that pile you're seeing there around the black bench. So the zebra bag, that has, that has gone over there because I want to remember to take it out to our vehicle. It needs to go back to my mother-in-law. She had sent a few things home with me and I want to make sure she gets her bag back. There is another bag there that needs to go into that black bench. I store some shopping bags in there and so it needs to make it back in there. And then I have a bag of potting soil because I was really wanting to get to starting plants. And then there's the garbage that that's where it goes so that it's right by the door and makes its way out. So that's the mess that you're seeing over there and it will all get cleaned up. Now the flowers you see on the island, they are from my mother-in-law. Thanks mom for the flowers. And um, I'm surprised at how well they are doing. They're just from Walmart, but they're a few weeks old already and some of them are just hanging on so well. I haven't given them any special plant food, just water. I have cleaned out that vase I think once maybe twice when I noticed the water was getting really murky looking I took all the flowers out trimmed up the stems a little bit cleaned the vase really well and put fresh water in and I'm just amazed at how long they're lasting I think in total they ended up lasting close to five weeks maybe even longer so I was really impressed with these flowers from Walmart All right, so anybody who has watched a lot of my other cleaning videos knows that I may start off cold in the morning, but as I get going, I warm up, and so I've changed into a t-shirt, and I'm just going to keep plugging away at getting the house clean. I'm just kind of brushing off the sectional here, cleaning up a few books, whatever I find, and placing the pillows, and then the floor needs a little TLC. Other than that, this area wasn't too bad this time. as well in the sense that we had to go to town this morning well that's actually pretty typical for a Friday well not a Friday that's pretty typical for a Saturday cleaning day and everything but this particular day I picked up a couple more of these baskets for in our organizer here in the closet so I'm going to get all these shirts that were just laying there all organized nicely into these baskets and then our closet will hopefully look that much more organized.
shirt I started off wearing for today and I'm going to wear it again one day because I barely worn it. So I'm just going to hang it up on the bottom there because I know that those are the things that I've just worn a little bit and I want to make sure I don't wear them too many times before they get washed but definitely they can each be worn another time. So just tidying that up and then I'll get the rest of the room for Now the boys room across the hall from us was not super cleaned up yet so I didn't dare vacuum too far in case I'd end up vacuuming up a bunch of Lego or other special toys. But seeing as I have the vacuum cleaner going already I'm gonna get the floor vacuumed in the bathroom and keep moving on with this laundry, get it all closer towards the laundry room where it needs to go. So here's just a quick snapshot of what the entrance looks like because the kids are going to be cleaning that up while I get the bathroom cleaned. That way when I get to the entrance, all I have to do is vacuum it, maybe wipe the walls a little bit, wash the floors, and it will be good to go. the blurriness here guys it is not your TV it is my camera I'm not sure what I did but for whatever reason this clip is blurry I I don't know if maybe I had it focused on the wrong area but I'm sorry
All right, so just like I told you, the kids have got the entrance all cleaned up. All I have to do is come and do the actual cleaning. So here we go. And there we go, all finished, all tidied, ready to do the bathroom. So here again is something that I have just started to do over the years. Some of you may find this gross, some of you may not, whatever. I think that with the soap and whatever in the water that it's a good cleaning solution so I'm okay with it. Others of you may not find it sanitary enough, but sometimes when I'm washing the floor I notice that the walls are incredibly dirty. And so I just use my mop, like I've done here, to clean the door and clean the walls a bit. Helps save my back a little bit as well, and it helps keep my hands out of the water, because water dries out my hands, and so that's just something else that I do that I feel makes my life a little bit easier sometimes to get everything clean. So you may be wondering why you didn't see the boys laundry hamper come down here. It's because before when you saw me take it out of their room, all I did was dump it into our laundry hamper and kind of pack it down and smash it down. <laughs> and that way I didn't have to carry so many laundry hampers up and down the stairs and make any extra trips. But now I will have to go get all of the girls laundry so here we are here i am i'm back i've got one of the girls laundry now i'm gonna go get the other ones okay so laundry has been started here i am back in the kitchen the bread maker has beeped that the first loaf of cinnamon raisin bread is done and the dishwasher is done and this star frit grill is all done air drying so i'm gonna get it put back together and up in the pantry where it goes and just keep moving on try to get everything cleaned up and done so i have not shown that i started the next loaf of bread but i did so there is another loaf of cinnamon raisin bread going in the bread maker right now that's why you still see it out and i have not put it away and this is now supper, so I am just quickly whipping up a homemade hamburger helper. And then 
back on to those dishes and the dishwasher again. So the flipper and this dish and my coffee mug had not gotten clean so I'm giving them a little helping hand and then they can go back through the dishwasher and get all clean and sanitized. So to make this hamburger helper a little extra special today, once I have this first amount of cheese all melted and mixed in, then I'm going to shred a little bit more for a little treat on top. are helping set the table here and Kevin already took one cup of milk out of the fridge and then I found a second one and here we are supper is done already so now we're going to keep going and go through this all again and again and again and again because this is everyday life and this is sometimes why we just need to be motivated by whatever motivates us and just sometimes it just feels so good to know that we're not alone there are other people who as much as we may love our lives love our lifestyles some days it just feels like nobody appreciates it and we get exhausted so if nothing else I hope in this video you just realize you are not alone whether we are working moms stay-at-home moms we are all moms together I don't know about everybody else out in the world but I love leftovers as somebody who cooks a lot of meals from scratch leftovers are such a lifesaver because usually that's what we end up having for lunch so instead of having to make two or three meals if you count breakfast instead of having to make that many meals every single day and shouldering that responsibility we keep our leftovers and then, you know, for lunch, everybody gets to kind of pick and sometimes certain leftovers get fought over and sometimes not. All depends what everybody's hungry for, but it's kind of like being at a restaurant and being able to choose from the menu, except you're kind of choosing from all the different options in the fridge. But I, as a busy mom, appreciate leftovers so, so much.
And then here we go with cleaning eggs again. Eggs are collected at least twice a day here, almost all of the time. There's the odd time where our day is just so upside down that it only ends up happening once in the day. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. I think it always ends up happening at least twice a day. Because even if it ends up happening much later in the day, it still ends up happening twice. Because we always look again when we go close up the chickens. So they always get open, they always get closed, and the eggs always get checked for every single time that those two things happen. So it's at least always twice a day. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, and anyways, enough with that rambling. So I have also offered to bring away dessert tomorrow. So I'm going to quickly whip up a thin sheet cake layer of chocolate cake and I will end up putting chocolate icing on there but that happens a different day so you won't get to see that part, sorry. But today I'm just going to get this super easy favorite moist chocolate cake whipped up and baked. Now if that is a recipe that you're interested in seeing in a future video, please comment down below and I'll make sure that that happens sooner rather than later. Um, my family definitely won't mind if you request it. They'll be more than happy if I'm kind of forced <laughs> to make a chocolate cake again because I generally don't bake cakes and cookies unless I have good reason to because we've cut back on eating so many sweets. So if I kind of have a reason to, you know, that we're bringing it away somewhere or that you've requested it and so I need to make it for a video, <laughs> they will not be at all upset. So if you would like to see this video, just comment down below and I'll make sure it happens soon. Now the camera wasn't turned quite far enough, but I'm just cleaning the fridge handle here and then I'll keep cleaning up this workspace. So here's a close-up of the fridge. I'm not going to do a full fridge clean. I'm just going to kind of do a touch up of the most used spots, the spots that get the dirtiest the quickest, which is generally the shelf where we keep our drinks. That's the shelf I'm working on right now. And then the shelf right beside it, kind of one up there. That one often has jars and sometimes jars have spilt a little bit. And so that one usually has a couple rings on it, sticky sometimes from like pickling stuff. So that one needs it. And then down in the bottom here, when people are pulling drinks out, often that along the bottom there is where things will drip or spill onto. So just touching up a few things. Now that that's done, I am back downstairs to change out the laundry. I have started using my dryer again this last winter. Um, I'm not sure if that's something I will continue on. It was kind of an experiment because it had been several years since I'd even used dryer at all. Um, so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the dryer. Sometimes I like to use it. There are things I like about using it and there are things I don't. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm kind of using the dryer again. 
All right, so here we go. This is what it is like. I promised you in the beginning of the video that you were going to see this. So this is now what it is like to cut bread, fresh bread that has just cooled on the counter a little bit. Um, I don't know how well the video is showing it, but fresh bread really squishes, like this was really squishing. It was hard to always know where to hang on to. It would have been better if I'd gotten out the electric knife, but I didn't feel like doing that today. So I'm just cutting it by hand. But anyways, um, the slices don't come out as evenly. They'd come out the most evenly if I just used the electric knife, but like I said, I didn't feel like doing that today. Um, and then here, I actually cut my finger. So, keeping that finger off the bread, I'm going to finish slicing the end piece here. Then I'm gonna run and get a band-aid. <laughs> So I'm just going to dump these breadcrumbs into my compost pail. Breadcrumbs are really good for the chickens. So I'm going to dump those into there and then I'm not going to clean up this cutting board or the knife because I'm going to need them again tomorrow morning when I slice the other loaf of bread. So we'll move on to folding all this laundry that is now done. So as I'm folding laundry, the rest of the family is watching TV, so that's why you see me glancing over there quite often as I'm doing the laundry. I would say that is probably one of the biggest things that I have loved about opening up our house and taking out the big T-shaped wall that was here between the kitchen, dining, and living room. So the dining room used to be, the island was not there, and the dining table used to be out over by those deck doors, and there was a big T-shaped wall here. And so one of the things I have loved the most of taking out that wall is that now when I'm doing stuff, even if I'm still working, I still feel like I'm together with my family, I'm not really missing out. I can still kind of glance up and watch with them, catch the funny points, but at the same time I can still finish getting my work done. So instead of feeling torn that I'm in a separate room and I can hear it but I'm not actually with them, yeah, I have really, really loved that. Even if I'm cooking in the kitchen or baking, gotta finish something, same idea there. the end of the basket here and you're gonna see I start kind of looking around and looking like I don't know what I'm doing but I'm searching for a missing sock and I don't have a problem generally with socks like disappearing that I don't know where they are you know like my washing machine my dryer they don't eat socks so I figured it had to be somewhere so I'm shaking out all of our clothes <laughs> and looking in them looking through them and I could not find this sock so I started to retrace my steps back down to the laundry room and found it on the floor somewhere along the way. There we go, now that it's all folded, it can all go to where it needs to go. The kids will take their own piles and I'm taking ours to our room where I can get it all put away. So you can see that second loaf there. I'm just going to get it into this bag and put it into the, into the fridge so I can cut it tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to finish tidying up and that will be all for tonight.
Okay, so I told you I would be wearing that shirt again. So here I am the next morning wearing my cozy, comfy black hoodie shirt again. And I don't know if you can see it, but this bread is not squishing now like how the loaf yesterday did. It is a little bit stiffer, which um, means I do have to push a little harder with the knife, but then it's actually cutting nicer instead of just squishing the bread. So this is going way faster and I'm getting more even slices and it's much easier to hold on to the bread this way too because it doesn't feel like my fingers are just like sinking into it and making holes. It actually feels like I'm able to hold on to the bread better. So here we go, get to the end piece and I'm gonna do it like this again, but this is working so much better and then I'm going to make my slice of toast for the morning and this morning I am hungry for chocolate and peanut butter. Anybody with me? Anyways, I hope you have liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks guys. Have a great day, great evening, good night, whatever time of day you're watching this and we'll see you again. Bye.